Hi guys, Dane here, and today it is time for another instalment of my sort of monthly Sunday shoutouts. So, as usual, I'm going to be recommending 10 channels that I enjoy here on BookTube slash AuthorTube. And without further ado, let's get started. So, we're going to start with JD Estrada. So, JD Estrada is an AuthorTuber, but he also does the odd bit of BookTube here. For me, he's kind of one of, I guess, like the three main authortubers whose videos I actually watch. No offense if you are an authortuber, I, I need to be doing more of it myself. But um, I think that's because JD covers such a wide variety of stuff. He's done uh, Tea with JD. He did the I Want to Get Drunk with tag, which I was a big fan of as well. Uh, all sorts of stuff, really. He's got a new book out as well. I'm pretty sure he accidentally published that one. But yeah, he covers a little bit of everything. Interesting dude, and I definitely recommend you go check him out. Next up, we have another author tuber, and this is Emma Rosen Books. Now, Emma is uh, the author of Milk, a story of breastfeeding in modern society, something like that. I can't remember the full uh, caption. She's actually recently done a cover reveal of that on her channel. She recently read uh, Our Doris by Charles Heathcote as well. Uh, she did the story ideas writing tag, which I will be filming at some point soon. So all in all, she does a great mix of both AuthorTube and BookTube. Number three, we have Totally Pretentious. Now, despite the self-deprecating, uh, you know, channel name is not necessarily totally pretentious. He reads a wide variety of stuff. I, I enjoyed recently just watching him put up some of those hanging invisible shelves. So, for example, recently he talked about the Canterbury Tales. He did the BookTube stats tag, but he also did an apartment tour as well. And he just reviews kind of a wide variety of stuff from sort of classics to literary fiction. Definitely check him out. Number four, we have Sean the Book Maniac, who I imagine most people have come across Sean. It's hard to miss Sean, really. He's that kind of book who is full of energy, but not to the extent that it's irritating. He's very opinionated as well. He'll definitely tell you if he doesn't like something. And for me, that's the mark of a good reviewer, you know. Wide variety of stuff he read. He even read uh, Nora Extena, Soviet Milk, which I liked. He didn't like as much. All right, then we have Sue's Book Nook. And this is actually one of the channels that I got into fairly early on after I started making videos. So we have my old school channels that I've been watching since before I made videos. And then Sue's channel I started watching at about the same time. And it's just got such a cozy vibe to it. She's just a really nice, really approachable person. She's kind of... Um, her reading tastes are eclectic and also a bit more mature than, I guess, the average on BookTube. Not necessarily the average on this, this list. They all fit in together perfectly, really. But, um, yeah, she's just got great taste in books. Really approachable lady. And I, I just love her channel. And I haven't shouted her out, so I think it's about time. Alright, then we have Literary Gladiators. And I'm going to be honest here. When I think Literary Gladiators, I think Josh. Because of Josh's food related book tags however there is like a whole team at literary gladiators and they all occasionally pick kind of hero books and have like episodes of like the main show as opposed to the you know the just the one-off videos and the tags and things like that i think what you get from literary gladiators is just you know an eclectic mix of different video types with an eclectic mix of books with an eclectic mix of personalities so what's not to love then we have Roya Eve Reads how have I not shouted out Roya yet I might already have shouted her out actually I did realize as I was like preparing this I've lost like a month or two's worth of the shout outs that I logged and so I don't know who I've shouted out now but um yeah, that aside, Roya's channel's great. She's actually recently said she's going back from three videos a week to one video a week. But that just means you have a big old backlog there to go into. She inspired me to read some more Shakespeare this year, which I'm very happy with. So, specifically, uh, Othello and A Midsummer Night's Dream. She's kind of in her final semester, I think, at the moment of her final year or something like that. I don't know, but she's stu uh, st a student. And because of that, she studies a lot of the books that she talks about as well, which just gives you an extra, you know, an extra perspective on it. Sarcasm and sci-fi. Not too much to say about this channel, really, other than that you're going to get sarcasm, you're going to get sci-fi. This is actually one of the more recent channels that I subscribed to, and uh, I just can't wait to see what she's got coming, really. I mean, we have things like the No Disclaimers tag, uh, her book haul, uh, the Ice Cream Book tag... She recently hit 100 subscribers as well. She's got this dope AF channel art. I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Then we have Bookish. You can expect to see 
a lot of interactive stuff actually so for example where uh, he invited us to help choose a book for them to read during classics a thon uh, they took part in POC a thon they do some reviews so we have a, quite a variety of uh, different bookish content to enjoy there and finally we have words words everywhere who hasn't been making as many videos as uh, as usual recently his name is Mark, like I say, he hasn't uploaded for a month or so, but he's still very kind of active as a viewer and amongst the bookish community. Uh, he did a great discussion on depression, books and booktube, which I would recommend. But equally, like I say, I love some of his uh, poetry readings, so everything from Psalm 1 there to William Wordsworth, Tintin Abbey, William Shakespeare's Sonnet 29. And they're always a pleasure when they pop up in your feed, so hopefully he'll get back to it soon. And also just some of his general discussion videos are great as well, so... I think he did some videos with Miriam as part of the Poetry Club. He talked about politics and the English language and put an Orwell take on that as well. All in all, just definitely a channel I would recommend to check that out. So there we have it. Those are 10 more BookTuber shoutouts for the month of September now, I guess. Uh, these are super fun. I always enjoy doing them. I fear that one day I will run out of channels, but I'm sure that's not going to happen. And as for how I kind of decide who I'm going to shout out, it's basically who pops into mind. I look at who I've been commenting on recently, whose videos I've enjoyed, new channels I've discovered, and all that stuff. Siren going outside. It was an ambulance. There we go. This is just what I do to try and help share the love. If you need more shout-outs, I recommend checking out Anthony Andrews and Paul Reeds here on BookTube. Both of those do fantastic shout-outs videos. Paul does it once a week, and he's also starting to do, like, a This Week in BookTube. So... All of this stuff is just great to bring the community together. And hopefully this helps. Who knows? I got some nice messages after my last shout out from people going like, I tried to figure out why my numbers shut up. And then I realized it's because you gave me a shout out. And I'm like, mission accomplished. So yeah, on that note, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. If you've enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments if you watch any of these channels. And obviously, feel free to recommend further channels to me and to other people. Subscribe to some of these channels if you enjoy them. Subscribe to myself if you're new here. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.